So as you can see, uh, we got our Pokeballs. We got Cyndaquil in the back. Well, I think we're just going to chuck balls right now. I want to explore. Excuse me, you have a Bidoof to catch. All right. <laughs> Get in the ball. Hey, we caught one. You caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find that Pokemon. All right. Dang, Sherry. Sure, you know where to go. Oh, there's a sprint button in here. Oh, it's a Starly. That might be added to the team. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. I'll run up startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot, like, because you're crouching. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep in the tall grass, you won't go detected. Boom! Got you, you little shit. <laughs> I hit it right in the freaking head. You saw that? Now, Starly. That Starly caught as well. One more Pokemon to go. Oh, and this one's going to be feisty, isn't it? I'm going to have to fight it. I'm going to have to kill it with Cyndaquil and then catch it. Oh, I wonder if that's a thing. Because you know how in regular Pokemon, if you faint a Pokemon, you can't catch it no more. What about this, though? What if you faint a Pokemon? Can you still catch it? Oh, I hope so. I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you since there's, you're still new to this. Here's a proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, Have an item at the ready, but you want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to press an item? Press X. Uh, Captain's a real expert on these things. Throwing your Pokeball at rocks or trees like this one, I have to, to investigate it. If your Pokeball finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partner to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching Shanks. Ooh. Well, we got some orange berries. Welcome back, guys. If you are finally able to come back to my stream, we shouldn't have any more internet issues. I completely reset it, so it should be fine now. Speak. Hello, Joe. Thank you for throwing me out the Pokeball. Oh, it can talk. No, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, here we go. Also, guys, don't forget to join my Discord, Zamora Gaming. I will set the, I will send the link here in a little bit, so everyone can join, and it lets you know whenever I go live. So, let me do that real quick. If only I knew how to do things. Copy, paste, there we go, that's my discord guys if y'all want to join it, okay, there, that chinks, oh it's adorable, chinks has an aggressive disposition, could you tell, can you tell that already, 
Not at all. It's adorable. Not to worry. These things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any Pokeball you throw at them. Okay. So it looks like orange is bad, yellow is uh, kind of annoyed, and green is nice. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them, of course. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them and try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Well, yeah, you saw me beat that dude's Togepi to death. I don't know if you guys saw, but I, I beat a I beat a Togepi to death. Oh, I love the battle sequence. Fight. Shinx is looking around. Yes! That's it. You caught a Shinx. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Damn right, lady. With you at our side, I think Survey Corp has a real chance of comp compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful! I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Maybe I'll blow you later. Maybe. Alright, we got a lot of Pokemon with us. Not sure which ones I want to add to the team just yet. Oh ho! I'd say you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Joe. You've taken the first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photo. Oh, look how, look how happy I am. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Oh, I forgot. We get some. We get some. Uh, uh blah, 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 blah. we get some. Uh, free mystery gift shit because we got the game so early. Oh, I can't wait to try and do that. All right, I'm gonna tone down the cursing. Let's do this. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to let to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field. In theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. We've never had anyone skilled enough to bring six Pokemon. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our reports at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Oh, man. We're in sandals. Like, new. We got, we got the fresh Jordans on. And we, we in cargo shorts. I don't know nothing about cargo shorts back in this day. We just all we just all dripped out like our typhlosion is gonna be. Uh, uh nope, I don't wanna go see her. Up on the third floor is the office of team uh, galaxy team's commander, Tam Tamado. There's no going up there until we know a little more about you, mystery kid. I want to go talk to the mean lady. All right, fine. Fuck it. Let's do this. Hi, Abra. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. <laughs> right. Thank God. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to the satchel. I must admit, you for the I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of Survey Corps. You have received the Survey Corps uniform and uh, Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander, 
This is your first official order from your captain. Yes, ma'am. Let's get it. Enter my dwellings so we can change into our uniform. Change into your outfit, heck yeah. Fully a customizable. Yeah, I'm gonna stay brown eyed. Brown eyed and bushy tailed. And we are officially changed. We got plastic bags on our feet. And the Survey Corps uniform. Alright, here we go. Off with our adventure. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use that room you slept in last night. I got drip. You saw. I was looking decent. Regarding your accommodations... Okay, yeah, she said that. You may wear this as well. Oh, snap. A hat. Thanks, I guess. It's like the Gen 4 hat. Now, present yourself to the commander. Hey, I will. Commander! And chief? Is it the president? Hey, what's up, lady? Or dude? Oh, it's a dude. Kichi! The brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. Hey, did I freaking ask you? Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can solve you help us solve them. Oh, now that I got a badge, they're all oh, what's up, man? You're not a mystery kid who fell out of the sky anymore. Professor Rowan, I mean what? Oh no, this man got drip. You see that? Oh, I've been waiting for you. I am Commodore, Commander of Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm. So you're, you are Joe. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the earth down in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him, charge at him. Fuck it. Charge at him. Hiya! He flipped me like a pancake, huh? Mm. You got vigor. I'll give you that. Hey, dark bug, that words hurt. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from anyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider. Who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you have passed the trial that was put on you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of Galaxy Expedition Team, the cult you just joined, and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Joe. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Yay! I did it! Dun, 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 dun. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Mm -mm -mm. You need to work on your drip, but I do see some potential. <laughs> that, that works too. 
uh, Team Galaxy, the Galaxy Team Entry Trial. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you being as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up to do the ranks. Indeed, you see. The more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And the work on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to the goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. I've obtained the recipe for crafting Pokeball, so I need one apricot and one tumble stub. And three thousand dollars as well. You have you will have to buy the necessary material. I'm, I'm giving everyone the wrong voice. Akari. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain! Now, as experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your team. You can buy some items in the general store, but self-sufficiency self is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Alright, that's our next mission. And we will see it through! So far, there's not much exploring we can do yet, but you know, we're, we're, it's only the beginning. We're still learning the basics. The lay of the land, if you will. Well done, earning a piece, a place in our team. My name is Anthe. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they fit. Dang, you didn't get my dimensions or nothing? You just fucking did that? You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you avail yourself of the village humble shops. So, I hope you spend all your money. Oh my god. This way to the Craftworks, Joe! Oh yeah, sprint. Not sprint, sprint. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Now that's a craftsman workshop right there. And I'll supply you what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft in this case a pokeball okay i'll do that um uh, gotta gotta make pick two let's go ahead and make two balls you made two Pokeballs. You put them in your satchel. Ah, uh, that would have been cool if they added, like, a little mini game to make it. But, okay. You know. Just giving it to me works, too. Oh, ho. Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this is... This was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, the Pokemon possesses the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeball we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly, duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. I received a Pokedex. It's a journal. A volume of compli compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Lavington continually adds to it with each report made on his new Pokemon species. Team 7 caught 4. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. 
The same goes for me, of course. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the Pokemon catching. Okay, I'm kind of done with that. Oh, good Lord Almighty. So much talking in this game so far. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the field, field man's camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Okay. So this is probably one of the coolest things in here. There's side missions, too. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wormpole. Have you heard of it? Nope. Well, you see, I have. I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling a little, 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 he said a phenomenon called evolution. Okay, Pokemon undergo evolution, of course. And so I want to raise a Wormpole myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wormpole, could you let me have it? Sure, why not? There'll be a reward in it for you. I promise, just get me a Wormpole if you can. Alright, I'll probably activate it when I get out there. Oh, look, another one. I know Shinx's ears had... I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corp? If you catch a Shinx... A shiny Shinx? Yeah, I wish. If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see it with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what the ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Okay, let's do that now. Got one of those shinks to show me? Yeah, right here. Alright, let's have a peek at those round ears. That's it. The ears have a yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Wow, you really had to break that one down for me, Sherlock. Thanks for helping me out with that bone. Pick that bone out. Whoa. <laughs> Easy there. Easy. All right. Oh, well, man. Let's uh, get away from that guy. Ooh, he does art. Ever consider preserving a loving memory with the Pokemon as a photograph? Come on in. Give it a try. Ooh. You know what? This is the perfect way to commemorate our starter. <laughs> I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken take photos choose a pose oh hold on Better. Okay. That's it. Why can't I take one of my starter? Oh well. Close enough.
All right. Alright. Sorry guys if this is boring, but I'm trying to trying to take a good picture here. Dang it. There we go. Alright. Change pose. Come on, dude. Oh. All right. Fuck it. Hold on. Let's see. Direct your Pokemon. No, let's look. Let's look fierce. Alright, we got our photo shoot in. That'll make a good thumbnail, right? Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Follow me. Oh, it doesn't follow you. Out the village, are we safe? Okay, yeah, let's go to Obsidian Fields and complete whatever we're supposed to be completing. Oh, this game is amazing. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many great research tasks I need you to do. The details on this task can be found on the Pokedex for you to refer reference anytime. Okay. You must catch and battle diverse species and carry out all plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your hard work. One last piece of advice, Joe. If you see a wild Pokemon attacking coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? <laughs> like the Dodge Ram? Here, watch closely and remember what I do. You can do it later. Hop! Oh. See? You just throw yourself... 30,000 feet away. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics, it was, we call it a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attack. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx Thundershock. You got Thundershocked by a Shinx of all things? But don't, don't you worry. I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Okay, I guess. Can I explore on my own, please? Leave me alone. Oh, I can explore. Okay. Oh, 
that's a ledge. I jumped down a ledge. Gotta watch out for those shanks. I don't think I can fight two on one. No iron berries. Ooh, look. Is that a Pokemon? Nope. It looked like a Metapod. Like the middle of the grass. Got him. Yes, we got a wormple. I need to catch another one though. So I can give it to that one guy. That's a wormple over there. I got seen by something. What is this? Oh, tumble stone. Okay, cool. Well, now I know. Oh, and it gets experience for finding shit for me. More tumble stone. More tumble stone. Wow, I chunked that thing far. Come at me, bitch. Oh, good thing it didn't come after me. Oh, wow. Look at this land. Okay, I need to go catch another worm pool. Honestly, I should probably catch a couple. Because, uh, they can split evolve. Okay, so everyone gets level up. Okay, I'm gonna catch one more. All right, cool. All right, we got plenty of Wurmple now, I believe. Hi, Starlies. Is that a ponytail? Oh, I want to catch a ponytail. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we got a ponytail. Alright, we're battling the pony too. Oh wow, he can do that? Okay, well he didn't want to battle us, he ran away. Alright, we're gonna carry... Probably have too much shit now. Um, can we climb? Adventuring! Ooh, we 
got two leopard bears. I'm not assuming we can swim. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stay out of the water for now. Okay, check Pokedex. Alright, we got we got some movement here. Okay, so we gotta use so many moves so many times and all that stuff. Okay. Alright. What was that? That didn't sound like a pony stuff. This ponytail is looking for a fight. Let's attack again. Come on. Okay, so you can't catch a Pokemon after it faints. As per usual. Yeah, I'm not going to go swimming yet. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm nervous. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, Rapidash. That's what that was. All right, come on, Rapidash. Come this way. Oh, it's angry. Is it because we killed your child? Okay, I'm gonna stop wasting Pokeballs. Oh shit. Oh, it tried to put me to sleep. Oh, dude. No, nah, that would have been. That would have been bad. That would have been nasty. Yep, get away from that. Alright, I've wasted a bunch of Pokeballs. What is that? Oh, it's a Starly. Okay. Alright, let's keep up the good work here. We're finding out a lot of things. All right, now let's go run to May. Figure out what we're doing now. We got a lot of Tubble Stone and uh, poke, uh, uh, the, the, the Apricorns, I think. We have plenty of stuff to be making Pokeballs, and we have a lot of medicinal leaps. I feel that'll help us when we got to make a... What do you call it? Do a barrel roll. Now let me share some Survey Corp's wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with a... Blah, blah, blah. I just caught like 80 Pokemon while you weren't watching. And then it's time to battle a Pokemon. Remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have an item, press X. If you have a Pokemon, press X. Give it a try now if you want to and I'll go on ahead. Um, I already did some battles and stuff. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I do want more berries, though. Apricorn. Apricorn. Fall damage? Oh, there is fall damage. Oh, look at that. You were not playing around. I am hurting for squirting right now. 
I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you're focused on a Pokemon or check your research task for it. It's just ZL, then down. Try a uh, task for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching one while hiding in some tall grass. I already did that. <clears throat> I'll go wait for you up ahead. Catch some Pokemon once you finish this task. <laughs> I just want to play the game. The more energy your Pokemon's got, the harder it'll be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon and lower its HP, maybe inflict paralysis with a move like Shinx's Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Doink. Catch another one, why not? Okay, or not. Right the back of the head. There we go. Now, where is she? I am traveling around the world with Pokemon. Oh, it's a weasel. Done to move. All right, let's throw a Pokeball and catch a Weasel. Weasel, hey, Dark Bug, thank you, man. I'll catch you later. All right, Weasel. Go. Let me get one more medicinal leak. Let's see what this broad has to say now. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggression. <laughs> I beat you to it, lady. I already caught it. Don't worry about it. And speaking of which, your research task for Buzel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it using the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Now go on ahead, take care of some of the Buzel's research tasks, and come talk to me. I just caught one. Well, I guess I don't have access to one. Uh, let's see... I don't know. Okay, so that's Pokedex. That's bag. I guess there's no way to. Okay, let's um, let's try to get this Weasel to attack us with a move. Ooh, quick attack, nice. Roll out. Ooh, good damage.
Weasel, you have wasted your time. Alright, I'm gonna go roll out again. And down goes Weasel. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's go. Let's go finish up these tasks. I think I think we're we're good on catching the Pokemon in this area right now. You're doing really quite well for yourself. Here's a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own carving kit. Your own crafting kit. Carving kit. You obtain crafting kit. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so we can craft in the field. Alright, cool. Here's a recipe for potions, too. I think you should have gave me that earlier. One orange berry, one medicinal leaf. So good thing we got a lot of that stuff. How goes your research? The covers of your Pokedex will tell you there are tasks you need to finish and can report. Yep. I'll do that later. Please report back to Professor Lavington once you've got some research tasks done. Bitch! Okay, let's see. Um, send a quill. We can only catch so many. Uh, times you've seen it use ember. Not a lot. Um, let's try to do that. Let's try to do the ember one. And hopefully evolve. But let's not miss out on these nice uh, orum berries either. Oh, cherry berries. That too. So remember, we just gotta watch out for that rapid dash. Yeah, that one. Yeah, fuck that. I'm out of here. You haven't been afraid of a wild rapid dash until you uh, played this game. Yeah, Badoop. Sorry, I got some training to do. Uh, fight. Ember attack. Ooh, roll out. All right. And down goes the doof. Yeah, so Badoof ain't playing around in this game. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a potion on you, Centaquil, because I ain't trying to see you die. You're my partner. That Centaquil looked excited. Oh yeah, we're able to get double hit. Double hit on him. 
There was no other shanks. I thought there was another shank. Let's go. You wanted to fight? Well, now you got one. Ooh, barely got over that leg. All right, last battle. And then we're gonna go report our findings. Oh, we burned it. Ooh, strong style. Oh, I wish I got a picture of that. Defeated sheep. Oh. All right, I'm gonna do one more battle just because I want a picture of that. That that'd be a cool thumbnail. All right, last battle with you. Oh, heavy damage. That Shinx is looking around wondering what that license plate of that truck is. Oh, wait. Why are there two? Oh, uh, this, ain't, this ain't fair. My boy getting jumped. I'm not even battle with you, dude. Hit him like a truck. Oh, that animation's gonna happen every time? Alright, I could get old, but you know. Gone! Okay. Give you another healing item, Cyndaquil. Look at me. And we made it up the hill. Run like the wind. Run like the wind. Yeah. Hey, Professor. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have Listen attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems to be a good time to explain to you about survey reports and rewards they offer. Okay. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Dang, I got a lot of money. Go to Pokemon caught 10. 10 or more Pokemon in one report. Achieved. Different Pokemon species caught. 6. Pokemon caught for the first time. 6. Pokemon using a backstrike. What? Whatever. Mm hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Okay. Alright, so we need to use Ember three more times. I mean, sorry. Two more times. Well, seven more times, technically. Uh, we need to use Quick Attack a couple more times. Uh, I've used a Strong Style move a few times. And I need to use the Agile move a couple times, too. And then eventually we'll evolve. New... Okay. This is just showing the stuff. You made good progress on your research task, Joe. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's get let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Look at that. Look at the beauty of this game. Jubilife's village. Alright, let's see. 
I wonder what Starly would like. You're that newcomer who fell out of the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corps must be, must have to get out and about to compile the Pokedex book they're working on, right? Oh my god, I can't read. Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in the Pokedex that moves... Okay, let's do that now. Oh, once I completed it. Okay. Have you got a wormhole you can give me? Uh, I'll give you. Yeah, I'll give you this level two one. It's a female. Are you sure you want to give me this Pokemon? Yes, dude. But I changed my mind. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly. So should I give it a name with that in mind? Yeah, dude. So you'd be disappointed when it's a tough talk. This is a tough decision. Which one of these do you like best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Beaujean? Beautisa. Yeah, I like Beautisa too. I guess that's the decided one. I raised Butisa to be a splendor, splendiferous butterfly. Wait and see. Ooh, I got dazzling honey. I'm sure that'd be good for something. Alright, we're not going to add anyone to our main team just yet. But Cyndaquil is going to be part of our main team the whole way through. Now I don't want to just keep shuffling Pokemon that aren't really going to be part of the team. So, yeah. I, I'll add uh, Pokemon to the layout when they're officially part of the team. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Alright, okay. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Like Black Clover? With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I'll be a top rank no time. In no time. You can now use Heavy Balls. Pokemon are... Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you own for your survey reports will be most more generous now too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Crafting for heavy balls. Okay. Ooh, crafting for revive. That could uh, be very, very useful. Vivacho. Whatever the fuck that is. That's a strange... That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it. And if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make your life for oh, uh, if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokemon. Oh my God! Okay, I get it. Rank is everything. Ain't that how it always is? For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal and a wallflower. At the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Thank you for, I guess, giving your approval. I think I need your approval. Fuck the system. So, Joe, my boy, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on ear earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our Survey Corp duties and requests for folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on a request from that bar guard? Yeah, I did. People of Juvelife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. 
so if problems arise, Survey Corp gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while others are customers. <laughs> I don't give a fuck! Speak of which, uh, weren't you approached with the request recently, Akari? What was that all about? About that, uh, I was thinking maybe Joe could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes, a request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there will be might that we might learn from them. Including more about the local Pokemon. But we discussed all that tomorrow. For today, we should just eat up and get some rest. Thank God. Y'all need to stop talking so much, dude. I get this game is about, you know, learning the freaking story, but good God almighty. <clears throat> Listen, do you have do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Will do, crazy lady. Will do. Alright guys, and that's going to be it for this episode of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am going to play on my own time, of course. Not this profile, but I will make another profile that I will be playing. So, not everything's going to be first take, but uh, hopefully I could stream some more tomorrow, and I will see you guys.